Welcome to another episode of UUTV. I'm Jeremy Culver. And I'm Hannah Youngquist. With midterms coming to an end, many of you may not realize that Halloween is just 10 short days away. Not to fear, QTV went to one Quincy store that may have just what you're looking for. Spirit Halloween has everything you can imagine to enhance your Halloween. You will be the life of the party with the many costume options available with each one sure to fit your unique personality. The store is not only full of costumes but also spooky goblins and bizarre items everywhere you look. From the swinging babies to the boogeyman, there is something for everyone to make their homes ready for Halloween. Spirit Halloween is located in Quincy's Oak Street Plaza just east of Walmart and is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sundays 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you still don't know what you want to be for Halloween, QTV is here to help. The first viewer to write Halloween Rocks on our Facebook page will win a full Charlie Sheen costume donated by Halloween Spirit. So get moving. If funds are tight and you can't really afford a Halloween costume this year, QTV's Daniel Dunn has some tips so you can still celebrate the holiday in a ghostly fashion on this week's segment of A Better You at QU. Hello, I am the severed head of QUTV's Danielle Dunn with some Halloween tips for you. A fun and creative way to celebrate Halloween has always been dressing in costume. So what will you be this year? A Better You at QU has found a simple way to find a costume by shopping in your own closet. Take some time to look through all of your clothes. You may be surprised at what you'll find. I was able to come up with a cowgirl outfit and with some more accessories, I could easily go as a number one fan for my favorite team or dress all in black as a witch or grim reaper. If you find yourself lacking in creativity, I suggest googling homemade costumes and looking at some unique options, such as a bag of jelly beans. Painting your face is also a simple way to dress up, and there are some really cool pictures on Google for painting ideas. Figuring out what you're going to wear on Halloween is half the fun. So have a good time putting your costume together and have a great Halloween. For Kiyu TV, I'm Danielle Dunn. Many theater goers don't think about what goes on behind the scenes of a production they are watching. This week, I sat down with a QU alum who has written a play and will have the privilege of watching it performed this November. I am here today with Valerie Hernandez, our own on-campus playwright. Welcome, Valerie. Thank you for having me, Hannah. You are currently working on Poe Nevermore. Um, tell us a little bit about that and what inspires you to write it. Well, Poe Nevermore is an original work, uh, obviously written by myself, and it is part of the Big Read program, which our Quincy Public Library takes part in. Uh, the entire state of Illinois, they come together and they choose a book every year to get people reading in the community. We had the kickoff about two weeks ago, so people got free books of Edgar Allan Poe's. And also, there are lots of lectures going on, and our production of Poe Nevermore is the capstone, and it takes place November 4th at 7 p.m. at Morrison Theater, which is at the local junior high school. Can you tell us a little about, a bit about what inspired you to write this particular play? Well, um, aside from, you know, taking part in the big read, I've always enjoyed Edgar Allan Poe's works, and uh, what inspired the play was the last eight years of his life were kind of full of mystery and darkness, and so just trying to explore that was something that I really wanted to do. So that's kind of where the whole show came from. Okay. Do you have anything else in the, in the works? Yes, I'm currently working on Booth, the musical, uh, with Laurent Grant, a current student. He's a music student. He's writing all the music for us. And that's going to be a fundraiser show that takes place um, December, <clears throat> excuse me, December 9th and 10th in McHugh Theater here on campus. Okay. Do you have any advice for anyone who's trying to write a play or anything of that? Sure. Um, they always say write what you know, but really I like to write what I don't know. I like to explore 
things that just uh, I find curious and interesting. So, you know, I don't know much about what it takes to want to assassinate someone, so that's why I find John Wilkes Booth so fascinating in turn. So, really, just, you know, get out there and go see shows, and then you can start writing shows. Are there any classes that people can take on campus? Yes, we're actually offering uh, a playwriting course uh, this coming spring with uh, the theater department here on campus. Okay. So if you're interested in playwriting, you should check that out. And uh, we thank Valerie for joining us today. Thanks. Looking for a good laugh on campus? You don't have to look far because SPB is hosting the college comedian Taylor Williamson tonight on campus. Taylor Williamson has traveled over the continental U.S. performing his stand-up comedy show to college campuses. He has been seen on popular programs such as The Late Night Show with Craig Ferguson, Comedy Central's Live at Gotham, and was a semi-finalist on NBC's Last Comic Standing. The event is tonight at 10 in the main dining room. Admission is free with your QAD and you will have a chance to win prizes before and after the event. Last week I introduced you to a new band. This week's iPod Shuffle takes a look at an established act, Mayday Parade. They released their self-titled third album on October 3rd. Here's a sample of my little hooray for this parade. Mayday Parade recently released their third full-length album, trying to recapture their fans from their first and most popular record, A Lesson in Romantics, which released in 2007. The band soon after the album lost their lead singer as Jason Lancaster left the group for personal reasons and formed Go Radio. The band on their second album went away from the style of their first CD, but has now since moved back. The self-titled album quickly hit the number 5 spot on iTunes album list and also number 5 on Billboard's rock album sales. The CD does capture the sounds and lyrics of their first CD, with songs about love and relationships, but the record lacks some things. The lyrics do not seem as deep or meaningful as their first release, and also the songs don't catch in your head as easily. The songs do, however, show great improvement from the second CD, as it did not reach sales of 25,000 units. Here is a small sample of the lead song from the CD, Oh Well, Oh Well. a band or song you want people to know about, just go to our Contact Us section on our website and let us know. You may happen to hear that song or band featured in our next iPod Shuffle. Anyone who has ever used a computer or MP3 player has been influenced by Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. Earlier this month, Jobs lost his battle to cancer. QTV asked students how they found out about his death and what their initial reaction was. I own a Mac and I opened up the internet and he was the first thing that popped up on there saying how long he lived and I just kind of felt bad for his family and everything. I feel like Steve Jobs, he made a great accomplishments, but he has a bad reputation. YouTube, to look at uh, this whatever had been posted most recent and I saw a video like kind of as a tribute to his life. Initial reaction, I really like... I didn't know too much about him, so it was just kind of like, you know, oh, that's unfortunate, because I knew he was young um, to have died, but it wasn't, like, I didn't know too much about him to get, like, a decent reaction from it. Steve Jobs was 56 years old, and though he may not be well known, his legacy will be remembered. Looking for some fun outside of QU? The popular Christian rock group Skillet is coming to Quincy next week. The concert is Tuesday, October 25th at 7 p.m. at the Oakley Lindsay Center at 3rd and York Street. General admission tickets are $25 and standing tickets are $18. Skillet will be performing with Disciple, Manifest, and We as Humans. The Grammy-nominated Memphis band has released eight albums since 1996. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of QTV. Tune in next week for our Halloween episode. For QTV, I'm Hannah Youngquist. And I'm Jeremy Culver with QTV. By the students, for the students.